I'm Katie from the Blog Hearts Content Farmhouse, and today I'm sharing with you one of our very favorite Christmas cookies. This is a really easy shortbread cookie recipe that is dipped in chocolate um, and then has sprinkles on top, and it is one of actually the quickest and easiest cookies, even though it looks sort of fancy with the chocolate coating. Um, these will be ready in less than an hour. They don't require any chilling. They're really simple to make. Um, so I just wanted to do a really short video for you showing you how to make them. So this recipe requires very few ingredients. The cookie portion is just butter, brown sugar, and flour. That is it. Um, and then for the chocolate, you just need chocolate chips and a little tiny bit of shortening. So very, very few ingredients for this. Um, we're gonna start with room temperature butter. Make sure it's slightly softened. And then we are gonna beat it with the brown sugar. So we're doing one cup of butter. Um, I'm using salted. If you're using unsalted, that's fine. I would just add a little pinch of salt into the um, butter and sugar mixture. So we're doing a cup of butter and then half a cup of brown sugar. And we're gonna beat that until it is light and fluffy. That's gonna take about three to five minutes. Um, then all that's left to do is to add the flour in. We need a total of two and a quarter cups of flour. At first, we're just gonna put in two cups of the flour, mix it in on low, and you're gonna get a really soft, really crumbly dough. Um, it's gonna make you think that maybe you should add water or something to have it come together, but don't do that. Um, once it has that soft, crumbly texture, just turn it out onto the counter, and then the remaining quarter cup of flour you're gonna knead in by hand. And then you'll see as you do that, that the dough comes together into like a dry, crumbly mass. We are gonna roll it out until it's half an inch thick. Don't roll it too thin or else the cookies will be too crumbly and they won't hold their shape. Um, and then we're gonna shape these and there's a number of different ways you can do this. You could use a cookie cutter. I just make sure it is a really simple shape. Something like a, a heart would be good, but something like a star is gonna be difficult because you have all those little pokey ends that are gonna be hard to get out in one piece. Um, so a circle or a heart is, is fine, but what I do is I just go ahead and cut these into rectangles that are about one inch by three inches. Really easy, just takes a minute. And then we are going to bake the cookies. They are gonna go in a 325 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. We want just the edges to be golden brown. Um, then all we need to do is cool these. And when they're completely cool, we can go ahead and dip them in the chocolate. This is the easiest chocolate you'll ever make. It's just um, a cup of chocolate chips, two teaspoons of shortening, put it in a microwave safe bowl, Microwave it on low and then stir it until everything is melted. And then we are just going to dip the cookies right in, or you could put this in a piping bag and do a design on top. That's a little bit too hard for me. I just dip them in, sprinkle them with sprinkles, and that is it. Once you have the chocolate on them, just put them on a piece of parchment or wax paper and let them cool the air until the chocolate is set. That will take probably about an hour and then they'll store really well at room temperature for a couple days. They don't freeze that well just because they're so crumbly, but if you wanna make the dough ahead of time and then freeze that, that is a great option. So I'm just gonna put the whole recipe below in the description box. Um, it's really easy, like I said, I know this was a really short video, but 
there's really not much to say. It's a really easy recipe and you will find all the descriptions written out in the description box and I will also put a link in there for where you can print it out in a more printer friendly format. So Merry Christmas, thank you for watching and I hope you like this cookie recipe.